My name is David Corson. I'm the publisher of Commercial Construction Renovation Magazine. Thanks for uh, tuning in, hitting our link and uh, seeing what was there. I'm sitting here with Mike Pallarino, uh, the editor. Say hi, Mike. Hello there. Uh, we're call we're uh, calling it from Atlanta, Georgia. Mike's in Cumming, Georgia. I'm actually up in Swanee, just north of downtown. We wanted to uh, give you an update on Commercial Construction Renovation Magazine as the economy is uh, starting to open up from uh, the shutdown in March. And um, historically, we've been a six, six issue or bi-monthly. Uh, we decided that in the month of May, we're going to go monthly to keep our name out there. Uh, we just didn't think it was prudent to wait until uh, the middle of June to put another issue out and, uh, and wait another six weeks to put another issue out. So we're going monthly. So coming up in May, we've got dominoes on the cover. We're going to have the same editorial features, but from then on, it'll be May, June, July, and we're going to do uh, uh, throughout the remainder of the year. Uh, as the econ If the economy opens up and things get uh, positive, uh, we might go back to the bi-monthly. We might stay monthly. Uh, we'll make that decision uh, down the road. One of the main things that we are going to change, though, is uh, we're going to go more into a digital format. We're digitally presently on the web, but we also do a print version. We're going to cut down our print, print, print run considerably because we really don't know who's in their offices, who's been furloughed, who's been laid off, and uh, if they're going to come back. Uh, there's just too many uncertainties. So with that said, uh, we are going to print the magazine for uh, our magazine Q&A cover feature and for our advertisers. And for any of you out there that are old school like myself that like having the, the print magazine in your hands, uh, we're going to have a print on demand service that we're finalizing and you'll be able to order the magazine and get it mailed to you. Uh, Mike's going to talk about a little about some of the uh, digital uh, options that we've added. Uh, go ahead, Mike. Yeah, we you probably imagine we get a lot of uh, people sending us project profiles and uh, experts that thought leaders that want to talk about things that they're doing in the industry. And so we've always had room for more and more content. So this gives us an opportunity to do that. You've probably already received by now, hopefully, our e-digest, the CCR e-digest, e which we uh, unveiled a couple weeks ago, uh, including some profiles with some of the uh, readers of the magazine and uh, we've gotten a lot of good feedback about that so we're excited about that so digitally is, is great you're you know you're either at home or you're on the road um, if you're able to get out uh, and you'll be able to, to read us on your phone on your tablet or read us on your computer so it's something we're real excited about uh, you know digitally we normally send out uh, 27,000 or so digital versions before even people see the print magazine. And our plan is to increase that to uh, probably 50,000 plus. So, uh, you know, if you are an advertiser or an avid reader, uh, you'll know that, or hopefully to become a new subscriber, uh, we're gonna be sending that digital version out to many, many more people uh, to have much more of a footprint out there in the, uh, you know, out on the wild, wild west of the uh, internet. Uh, we also do face-to-face -face events. Uh, we had our summit, our 10th anniversary summit, the largest one we've ever had, uh, and it was successful. And then the economy uh, obviously shut down in May. A lot of shows were postponed and so forth. Uh, everything's up in the air, what's gonna happen with uh, trade shows, conferences, moving down over the next couple months into the fall and to the end of the year. It's really up uh, to, the, uh, to the doctors and the scientists coming up with uh, a remedy, a therapeutic remedy with medicine or a vaccine that might be available uh, to, to get rid of the virus. Uh, if the virus isn't cured and so forth, face-to-face -face events are kind of up in the air and uh, we're an event producer. So uh, every month uh, with our Commercial Construction Renovation People Networking Association uh, networking events, we've had to postpone several. We had Atlanta in March, I pushed it back to April, then the governor shut the state of Georgia down, so I had to postpone that one. April, we had Dallas, I pushed back that down to uh, October. Minneapolis was scheduled for May, we can push that one kind of back to the fall, and we've left uh, from June on. All of those uh, receptions are there, they might get postponed, but our plan is to do those virtually. Uh, this week, later this week, we're gonna send out our first uh, email invite anybody that was at a CCRP event last year or that's going to be that's in our Atlanta uh, area will be invited we're going to do a bingo tournament we're going to do trivial pursuit we're going to come up with some some fun things some prizes hopefully you'll be able to tune in it'll be good, good opportunity even if you're still locked down in your house to see some people that you haven't seen in a while and uh, like I said we're, we're staying positive hopefully down the road we'll be able to get shake some hands in person and not have a mask on or gloves and have to stay away six feet away and 
and you know all the stuff that's going on you know currently in addition uh our retreat uh, we had our women's event scheduled for the beginning of august uh, and we just decided we were going to push that hopefully to October 1st to the 4th and co-locate it with our commercial men's version and have them both up in downtown Milwaukee at the St. Kate's Hotel. Um, if travel is uh, not happening, which we really don't know if uh, you're going to be able to get on an airplane, or if uh, travel bans or by, by firms or corporate are put into place, uh, that it's just, uh, we just don't know what the future is going to hold. So we might do those virtually as well, um, which actually is kind of nice because we're going to record them, but we're going to be make it more available instead of just having it in a transcription form in the magazine. You might be invited right in to be able to, to see the whole three hour conversation that we do at those events. Uh, so we're actually kind of excited. We might like this whole little transition that we're going through. Uh, as far as our 11th annual summit, it's scheduled for the 13th to the 15th in Fort Lauderdale of January 2021 at the B Ocean Resort, which is right down on the strip in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, hope, I'm, I'm hopefully that we'll be face to face, but if not, we're gonna do that event virtually as well. And in addition, we might do some of these uh, meetings uh, where we'll put together panels or one-on-one -on -one meetings uh, in the near future through the summer as we see how the economy opens up and how travel goes and so forth. Um, it, it's just a prudent thing to do. And uh, it, it enables you not to have to worry about getting on a plane. You can network with people, both on the brand side and the vendor side, because Commercial Construction Magazine has been around for you know, a little over 20 years. And our whole gig is putting people together and networking. We're, we're a family and that's what we wanna maintain. So we're gonna try to do that virtually in these uncertain times and think of positively we can get back to shaking hands in person. But at the current time, we have to do it virtually, and hopefully you'll like what, you, what we produce. Mike, any final thoughts? Well, I want to just ask everybody again to keep sending us uh, your cards and letters, your information, your thoughts on what we can do to help you get connected. Like David said, uh, I'm going to go back to what uh, one of our speakers said at the last event. Uh, she was kind of nervous to speak in front of our group, but she said as soon as she started, she realized that she was speaking like in front of her family, and that's, that's what we are. And that's what we do. So we're just going to do it virtually. So send us your information, send us your thoughts, and uh, we'll keep how can doing they, it. How can they uh, communicate with you? Give you can come uh, send me an email at uh, Mike P dash CCR mag and dot com, and we'll uh, I'll get you what you need to get to me. And you can also call me if you want. You can call me on my office line six seven eight five one three two three nine seven. And uh, myself, uh, you can reach me at David C at CCR-MAG.com, or if you want to give me a call on my mobile or text me a note, you can get me at 404-931-6569. Uh, I think I forgot to mention our podcast also that we've launched. I'm doing one or two of those a week, so if you'd like to be a guest or a sponsor for uh, our podcast, which is called Commercial Construction Coffee Talk, uh, you can, we have a, it's up on the web. It's also available on Google, Apple, and Spotify. Um, we have all sorts of people in there, brands, end users, vendors, uh, just good old, uh, just good conversation on what's going on there. So we hope, hopefully you, uh, click on the link and, uh, hear what some people have to say. Um, so with that said, wash your hands, social distancing, wear your mask if you have to be safe, stay positive. We're going to get through this. Uh, I, I, my motto, never, never, never quit. And, uh, you know, keep the faith and stay positive. And uh, this is America. We get things done. And we're going to get her done. Right, Mike? That's correct. And, hey, also, you might have a little surprise coming, too. Maybe a CCR mask coming down your, your way, too. Exactly. So and I want you to take a look at my Corona beard here. So when, the, and when you see me next time and I don't have the beard, that's going to be a great sign because that's when I'm going to shave this off. And, and, and As all you hockey guys out there, you know, in the playoffs, when – all the hockey players grow their beard to the end of the Stanley Cup. And when they raise the cup, it's time to shave the beard off. So this is my Corona hockey beard. And uh, if I look like Grizzly Adams, hopefully I don't grow it too much longer and I'll be able to shave it off. But uh, when you don't see me with it, you know that uh, things are turning around for the better. So with that said, we're going to sign off here from Atlanta, Georgia. Swanee, Mike's in coming, Georgia. And uh, here's to uh, good health and prosperity.
thank you for your time and keep an eye out for commercial construction renovation magazine monthly coming to you in a couple weeks here comes may thanks for listening take care